okay so hello friends today our topic is the ELISA test so what is ELISA it is the enzyme linked immunosorbent sorbent assay okay now see the types first so there are four types first one is the direct ELISA Next one is the indirect ELISA. Next one is the sandwich ELISA. And last one is competitive ELISA. ELISA. Okay, so before going to details discussion of these four, you have to understand a simple topic. So let's understand this. So ELISA test is done in a plate. This plate is called ELISA titer. Sorry, ELISA plate. Okay, ELISA plate. In this ELISA plate, there are different holes present. These are the different holes okay and these holes are called well now see a well single well so this is a single well so in this single well what we do we take serum okay serum this is anti gen and this is antibody serum so first take antigen so what will happen so antigen will bind the surface of the well by a process called passive adsorption okay and some remaining antigen will not bind to the surface so they will be there okay and we will simply do a washing process and this washing process the remaining antigen will gone same thing will happen to the antibody also so let's take another well now a serum containing antibodies okay so antibodies will come and bind to the surface Okay, come and bind to the surface and some antibodies will remain there which will be gone by the washing process so now hope you understand this simple topic now let's discuss one by one in detail so first one is the direct ELISA so in direct ELISA let's see what we do here so this is our well This is a well okay so first we will take serum containing antigen the indirect lies the we take serum containing antigen okay this is the serum now this antigen come and bind to the surface like this okay next we will add sorry next uh, remaining antigens will be like here and we will do the washing process in this washing process remaining antigen will be gone so only surface attached antigen will remain now we will add antibody containing enzyme okay these are the antibodies containing enzyme these antibodies will come here and bind to the antigens okay bind to the antigens like this and this containing the enzyme now we'll add a substrate which will react with this enzyme and will form a color so let's this is the substrate this substrate will bind with this anti is enzyme and will form color so this is the positive test 
so this was about the direct ELISA now come to the indirect ELISA so indirect ELISA so let's draw a well here okay so here it is a well now here we will take a serum containing antibodies in direct ELISA we take serum containing antigen but here we will take the antibody so <coughs> So first antigen is quoted here, already quoted antigen. <coughs> now we'll add the antibodies. So antibodies will come and will bind to the antigens. Now <coughs> we'll add another antibody. This is called the secondary antibodies. And these are called the primary antibodies, okay, primary antibodies these secondary antibodies containing the enzyme enzyme now this will come and bind to the primary antibody like this okay containing the enzyme <coughs> now we'll again we'll add the substrate which will react with the enzyme and form will form color so this is positive test so indirect ELISA is done next one is the sandwich ELISA so here we will also take a well okay so now here we will get coated with the capture antibodies so first there we get coated with the antibodies next we will add <coughs> serum antigen so this is serum <coughs> sorry antigens are added so here they are the serum antigens serum antigens next we will add primary antibody containing the enzyme so these are another antibodies this is called primary antibodies and these are captured antibodies okay we will quoted capture antibody and these antibodies are enzyme linked so we'll add these antibodies and it form like this and here will be presence of enzyme so again we'll add a substrate which will react with this enzyme and will form color so this will sandwich ELISA now why the name came the sandwich <laughs> okay so here you can see this is antibody this is antibody and in center there it is antigen so it is formation of a sandwich okay sandwich so sandwich ELISA next is the <coughs> competitive ELISA so competitive ELISA <coughs> sorry competitive ELISA is totally a different thing now here sample is taken containing the antigen plus antibody so in this sample suppose these are the antibodies okay antigens also present so some antibodies will contain the antigen and some not and the well is coated with the same type of antigens so they are already coated with the same types of antigen now <coughs> we'll add this sample here so what will happen these antibodies are already coated already attached with the antigen so they will not attach here the free antigens so if I free antibodies will attach to these circles these antigens so here it is the free antibodies and those antibodies will are which are already like this already attached with the antigen will like present like this now we'll do the washing process okay do the washing process so this will be gone now we will again add another antibody another antibodies which is linked with the enzyme okay, this antibody will come and bind to the this antibodies and enzyme so now we'll add the substrate substrate and 
react and will cause formation of color so this is the complete answer so guys hope you like this video and you have you also understand this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel so thank you guys